our employees here at the SABC are contributing on the national cause. Alan Tataise joins us here in studio. Alan, yes. otherwise known as Cheese Boy, <laughs> wheelchair <laughs> basketball player and coach Ninjanba. Cheese Boy, Ganjai. No, the thing is like, it's a name I used to give to the youngsters and like, it tend to stick on me. Uh, yeah. You were calling youngsters cheese boy, then what you about woo cheese boy? Exactly. You need cheese? No. <laughs> I don't have cheese. Boy. cheese. Nah, uh, they have petty cheese on land. Nah, they had swag, so that's why I call them cheese boys. Ah, they got swag. But the thing that I also want to remind people of is, and I've been telling them, you work here at the SABC. Yep. What do you do? Um, FCC. Yeah, you want to use our terminology, man. Final control. Final control. Yes. So what does final control do? Final control, what the people see right now is what final control is sending them. Uh, yeah. And also, as you watch uh, Alan coming into the building, coming to work here and work in the final control center, they control every channel. And when Thomas is on air and he talks too much and then he's going going into the next, like, Ipelang or 10, and then at like, at like one minute past 10, Alan is the guy who presses the button to cut me and says, we have to go to the next show. So, Alan, that's your job, right? Every second counts, Baba. Ah, Dalang Ufuna. Give us extra time, please. Let's come in. Let's discuss this we'll beforehand. Discuss it. <laughs> we will discuss it. We will definitely discuss it. What's it like working here? Uh, it's an awesome organization. Yeah, and yeah, there's growth. Uh. Basically, yeah, coming to work is fun. And then in your other life, you're a basketball player in wheelchair basketball and you're a coach. And this is what I want to tell South Africans. You have taken us as coach of the under 23s to a huge event. Where are we going? Basically, we're going to Canada in June. And yeah, um, the boys gave it their all. For what? Just a picnic? What? No, no, it's the World Cup, like wheelchair basketball yeah, World Cup. We, uh, we, we say it with fire. <laughs> you are taking us to the under 23 world yeah. championships. Yeah, that's where we're going, to the world championships, yeah. But it all started with the qualifiers, mm -hmm. which was in December. And yeah, um, the preparation was all good, thanks to Vodogom and Cecil. Because like, um, what happened, like the boys actually took place in a senior tournament, um, which prepared them mm. mentally and physically to take on the likes of the African giants. What's basketball done for you in your life? It kept me off the street. <laughs> no, honestly, like wheelchair basketball, like it taught me discipline. It taught me how to work as a team. And yeah, to be just focused mm. in life. If you didn't have it? If I didn't have it, I'd be probably underneath the bridge. Joking. No, the whole thing is like, you know, like um, <laughs> if wheelchair basketball was not there, the thing like, you know, like um, most disabled people, they feel sorry for, for themselves, mm. putting themselves, you know. Um, and the thing is like, um, we passes them, like you normally find them on the corners of the streets, things like that, at the entrance of malls. Um, I might have been probably a victim of that myself. Mm. Yeah, because um, I grew up in a rural area. Where? I was born in um, Eastern Cape, Lady Frere. Mm. Yeah. And have you been disabled your whole life? I was diagnosed with polio at the age of three. So probably I was disabled my whole life. When we go to the World Championships in June, Sierra Canada will be watching, because South Africans are now know the coach, so we can always say fire the coach when things don't go right. <laughs> but at the last World Championships in 2013, we finished number 11 out of 12 countries. 12 countries are going to Canada this time. We can't finish number 11, Spetwe Uwe and Dota. You know, the whole thing is like, um, the boys that I have right now, um, they committed. And also like, what I'm bringing to the table, you know, it's different. Cause, as still an active player, you know, like, I really know like, what it needs to be successful, you know? And the thing is like, when I gave drills to them, instead of just like telling them, hey, let's do this, I'll jump up in, I'll jump into my own chair and you know, like guys, this is how we want to do this, mm. you know? So I lead by example, even from the front. What's our level though? Because we were 11th in 2013. Where do you see us being in the top 12 in the world now 
at these world championships for the under 23s? Where do you want to take this team? What's your actual goal? What's success? My goal is to strive for number one, but then again. Funny gold medal in that. Why do you compete? You don't From compete. From number 11. My man, anything is possible, you know. We are the underdogs, like they will be like, ah, that's South Africa, you know. Uh. And then we come on the court, you know, like they see a different ball game. They don't know us, we know them. So yeah, we've got ammunition. And a coach who not only coaches, but plays for the country. And speaking of playing for the country, how many times have you played for the country? The kind of experience that you have, just show off a little bit. Showing off. Based, um, I've played one tournament for the country. Um, it was last year in Acadia, Morocco. Position? Um, we came third. And you, like your position on the court? The position I'm shooting guard. Shooting guard, because yeah. we're going to point guard, we're going to center, we're going to you know, I, I have an idea of basketball a little bit. Actually, I'm going to the NBA. I'm in a new score. We are good. I can shoot. Uh, mm -hmm. You can the shoot perimeter. and score. Mm -hmm. That's me. Alan, <laughs> it's been fantastic having you here with us. We wish you all the best in June. Please don't cut us anymore when you're in FCC. Don't press that button. If I talk five minutes over, you know, just relax. Five minutes. Maybe have two coffee. seconds. Yeah, no, 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 two seconds. I am the ninja. No, Alan, all the best. And we wish you really the greatest of success uh, when you take the team to Canada. The under 23s are lucky to have you as the coach. And all the best in both your playing yeah. and coaching career. Thanks, Thomas. And bring back the gold, man. Say, Funa, you've told us now. We're bringing it. Thank you. No We're doubt. We're going to have it. We'll be keeping a close eye on things. Uh, we're proud of him, man. He works here at the SABC, and he just, he's just brilliant. Thank you.